How do y'all look Lex Lives? I think it's time to play a little uh Infitech 2. Alright. So uh I've been looking at uh what is gonna be necessary to make some methane, right? Uh I think that's what we did last episode a little bit here. And um uh now I don't know if it'll work, but uh, didn't I have a setup over here for methane? Did I pull it down already? No, no, I put it right here. Right, right. So I want to tie this in with this over here. Um, which I did do with the steam. And, uh... <laughs> But I also want to go ahead and get uh, the electricity flowing from some methane generators, I think. Because uh, maybe, might be, I don't know, easy to put together. Well, I say easy. I don't mean easy, easy. I mean, it's going to take a lot of work. But <laughs> um, I used to use this mod all the time. Man, I don't know where that guy's at, but I don't see him. I thought maybe he was underneath the farm there. Uh, I used to use this mod all the time, um, a long time ago, for my power production. Well, a combo of mods, I guess. I've probably talked about it before. My favorite, my favorite uh, power system I ever built was based off of... Um, uh, Biofuel, bio, bio, something. <laughs> it wasn't fuel, it was bio mass. I think it was biomass, and um, it, was, it was a fairly complicated system, but, uh, you know, it was one of the first big power things I ever built, and it's always been one of my favorite, and I refined it a um, long time ago, like on Minecraft 1.4 uh, is when I built it. And then they changed some things that didn't work anymore, and I think it could work again, uh, but maybe... Mm, not on here. <laughs> Maybe on here, I don't know, because I don't know what all the different little things do in the mods, because I'm still exploring and playing with things, because uh, this is a huge mod pack, and it's going to take me forever to to play with everything. But, uh, methane can be made from potatoes. I have two potatoes, so I can start a farm, uh, but I don't want to handpick the farm. I don't want to do a forestry farm because I find them uh, maybe a little annoying to to keep running. Uh, and so I thought maybe maybe we could check out Steve's carts. Uh, and I used to have this cool system. Uh, I know it won't work on here, but uh, what I did was I'd have uh, a field of wheat, right? And so the field of wheat had a Steve's cart that harvested wheat. It harvests and plants the wheat. So it just goes around on tracks, harvests the wheat. Um, and then the wheat would go into... Um, the wheat would go into a moistener. And then the moistener would spit out fertilizer. Why did I need fertilizer? I know there was a reason, and I know Steve's carts was used for that. Um, oh, oh, okay. That's what it was. So I'd have a, a Steve's cart field. Basically, you build a combine, and it's an automatic combine, and it combines and plants the wheat. Uh, and then it brings the excess seeds and the wheat back and dumps it off. Uh, those would go into a moistener, which is a forestry machine, that would convert the um, the wheat and seeds into mulch. 
uh, the mulch would go into a fermenter and become biomass, right? Or no, the mulch would go into the fermenter, which was the necessary component. Then I'd have this other Steve's cart field uh, that would be trees. And so this Steve's cart field, because trees would block the solar panels that I would use on the wheat field, uh, it ran on charcoal. And so it would had a saw blade on it, it would chop down the trees, right? And so the trees would be fed into both um, furnaces to turn it into charcoal, uh, which would then power the Steve's cart. And, uh, and then the saplings would go into the fermenter. And so with the mulch from the wheat field and the saplings from the tree farm, it would make biomass. And then the biomass would feed into uh, another building and the biomass would then run biomass engines and the biomass engines would uh, run magma crucibles. Uh, which I knew wasn't going to work on here because we don't have that, but it would run the magma crucibles, and then the magma crucibles would feed into geothermal generators, and the geothermal generators would create my EU source. And that is my favorite setup ever for power. Um, now, most packs have got Mine Factory Reloaded and uh, and thermal expansion, and so almost everything runs off of RF. Um, that that I've played with lately, and so you just throw down a mine factory reloaded tree farm and feed that into um, feed the wood into uh, uh, redstone furnaces and convert that into charcoal, and then feed the charcoal into steam dynamos, and then the steam dynamos are fed into your your RF power, and that's it, and you don't have to do anything with them. But the Steve's Carts ones, uh, I know the Steve's Carts themselves got changed, and so you have to supply them with power, and then, um, and then the, oh, what was the system you used to use? Uh, before RF, there were multiple types of power, and I stopped using it because there was a glitch in the, uh, the pack I was using that still had all that stuff, I stopped using my normal method because I didn't want to cheat. And um, there was some kind of glitch where you used um, an what was that thing called Engineer's Toolbox? You put down a block, and then every side would be a different thing. And uh, and so what I had was an input for Whatever was before RF, and I can't remember what that was. Uh, MJ? I think it was MJ. Uh, and so the the uh, <clears throat> forestry was still using MJ, and so I could feed the MJ into one side of the, the toolbox, and then I could output RF and EU on the others, and so it was basically just a converter. But it it was glitchy, and every time I used it, it would create infinite power. And uh, I didn't like that. Um, I don't mind the converting thing, because, I mean, why wouldn't you be able to convert between power sources? But I didn't like how it uh, was cheaty. So I didn't use it. And uh, so today I want to try and start on Steve's Carts. Uh, this guy is making me flour uh, so that I can... Oh. What else do I need to do with the flour then? I thought that's all I saw, was cook the flour and you get bread. Right, what do I do with the flour? Oh. Oh, I've got to mix it with salt. I just wanted to make bread with it, man. Bread. Oh. 
I guess it's the other kind of flower. No, see, it just says flower. So can I just put it in this one then and make bread, or do I really have to go through all those steps? I bet I have to really have to... I can't even put it in here. Uh, what about this one? Yeah, no, I can't even put it in that one. That's weird that I could put it in that one. Nothing happens, but I could put it in there. Fine. How do I make bread then? Right, so I gotta make dough. I gotta make dough. Dough requires flour, salt, and water. Uh, so we've got a mixer over here that's set up to do <laughs> something else. But here, here's your that. I know I've got salt. Holy crap, I've got a whole stack of bronze dust in there. Salt, salt. I've got potassium dust. Does that count? Potassium salt, right? No, why would I think potassium was salt? Sodium chloride is what I need. Sodium potassium chloride. P I don't remember. I don't remember what table salt is. Uh... Rock salt. I've got rock salt. Can I make salt from rock salt? Potassium dust. I don't want potassium dust. See, potassium is salt. I wanted just salt. How do I make salt, man? I'm sure I've got salt. Bread, dough, dough, salt. Oh yeah, pot and water. <laughs> I forgot about that. Um, maybe I've got some salt in my macerator already. There we go. Salt. Anyways, this isn't anything to do with what I wanted to do today. I also wanted to make those sandwiches, too. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So, I'm gonna need... I'm gonna need... Let me empty out some of these weird things that I've picked up from questing here. Uh, okay. So, I need... What? I need uh, NAND chips, which I don't have here. NAND chips are plastic tin and polyethylene sheets. Pretty sure. Uh, red wire, red wire. How many of these do I need? Uh, Steve. Okay, so I need, uh, steel plates, an LV machine case. Just a case, really? So I got plenty of steel plates, I think. I got robot arm, I think. Uh, but these here, I need f eight, eight NAND chips. Which are, yeah, just the red wire and the plastic sheet and some tin. Tin. Or lead. Either or. Uh, did you finish with that salt? Impure pile of salt. This is weird. Clean off the salt. You know, I need to use the ore washer when I do that instead of throwing it in there. Uh, okay, so if I throw salt in here. Oh, uh, yeah, look at that. I've got dough. It stopped making me dough. 
Oh, because it's out of power. I don't have any batteries in there. Uh, didn't I give some of you guys some batteries? Yeah. We'll let that make up some dough. Uh, okay, so now... Nan chips, right. Uh, so I need eight... And then the rest of it's just steel plate. Oh, and that robot arm. And I've got several robot arms, so we're good there. Uh, steel plates, I've got lots of steel plates, so I'm good there. Dude, you're in the way. Steel plates and a hammer. Hammer, no, not a hammer, a wrench. Uh, oh yeah, I totally didn't make those other things. I need some redstone as well. Redstone. Uh, what else was in those? Oh, steel plates. That's polyethylene sheets there, buddy. Two of those with the NAND chips and then the redstone. <laughs> this is to make the workbench. I've got to make the workbench so that we can work with this. Uh, you, and then you. Nope, stop grabbing those polyethylene sheets, man. Okay, cart assembler. Uh, cart assembler. I guess you can go over here. Okay, look at that. It's been a long time since I worked with Steve's cards. Uh, so this is a pretty cool mod, actually. Um, it's just that I don't have a lot of use for it a lot of times, but I really enjoy it. Uh, first, I need to make a cart. That's the first part we got to make. We need a cart. Uh, we're going to need to make... Oh... Reinforced wheels, maybe? Oh, steel minecart wheels. Well, that's different than the iron wheels. I need to see a cart. Standard hull. There we go. This is what we need. So, iron plates. I can handle that. And iron minecart wheels. Oh, let's see. That's different. That's fine. So, I need uh, iron rings and an iron rod. Which I think is just iron. Uh, I'm out of iron rods. Fine. Go make some iron rods. I should have brought more iron because then I can make the iron plate I need as well. That would have been the smart thing to do. Uh, iron. Now let's grab a half a stack here. We'll do a half a stack of each. I tried to put that iron on top of the tin and it didn't work. And this thing here is in my way. And then I need extruder, but I need you with the rod shape. Alright. So then we'll take these and we'll make the wheels. Uh, so one, two, three, four. And then these. 
Oh, what else do I gotta have for that? Um, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, tools, duh. Wrench and hammer, there we go. Iron wheels. Okay, and then, yeah, we did that part. Yeah, it doesn't look like that. Weird, that's like smaller than the steel wheels that I was trying to make, or iron wheels. Right? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, let's see. Lawnmower. There we go, standard hull. Iron wheels, yeah, see, two iron wheels. Oh, that's to make the whole thing. Two iron wheels and three sheets with the hammer and wrench again. Okay, so these, these, and then the cart that goes on top of it, and then the wrench and the hammer. And there is our first cart hull. So then that goes in here. And then the, you can see it's got uh, 200 capacity, 50 complexity, three engines, six add-ons, uh, and you can see all the little spots opened up. Uh, so the next thing we got to do uh, is make an engine. Now, I'm hoping that the solar engine didn't get disabled in this pack. Uh, I mean, I guess I could feed it with fuel if I have to. What does the solar engine look like? Uh, hydrator. Right, I know it uses the solar panels. And no, it is not. It is not disabled. Ooh, that one's a little... Can we get the, uh, can we get the normal solar engine? Here we go. So we're going to need one MV electric motor for that. Some aluminum plates that can handle that. The electric motor... Oh, it's just aluminum and magnetic steel. Uh, I can handle all that. That's not bad. It's not bad. I can do that. And these... Oh, I can't make those? I don't know how to make those. How do you make those? No, it says upgraded. Upgrade solar panel. No, I don't... How do I just make a solar panel? It's going to be one of those things I can't do because I can't make the Steve's cart solar panel. I just wanted to make the engine, man. Everything else is listed on here. Except that. Um, all right, let's see. Yeah, they're really simple on here. Um, oh, man. I mean, I, it's not a big deal, I guess. Uh, if I can't use the solar, I can use... I really want to use the solar because they're awesome looking. They fold out in the daytime and... Um, Alright, what's the what's the other one? The coal engine here, I guess. Uh, Alright, so advanced PCB, aluminum plates, a large bronze boiler, um, which isn't bad to make it all... 
I got plenty of bronze. So, um, how about this guy? This guy might be the only tricky part here. We need uh, etch me. I've got that. And a printed circuit board from Pneumaticraft. And I can make those as well. So that's not too bad. I'm really disappointed I can't use the solar one. I like the solar one. It's cool looking. Okay. I guess... Um, let's get the bronze out here. Get that cooked up. Because I don't know how much exactly... I'm going to need for all that. I know it's going to be mildly expensive. And then uh, we'll head up here to the roof and see if I can remember how to do a printed circuit board. <laughs> uh, it's been a long time since I've been up here working with this stuff. Um, hey, look, there's my pump I was looking for. Okay, I got PCB blueprint. Empty PCB comes from... Oh. Epoxy coated plastic and annealed copper foil. which is a polyethylene sheet with molten epoxid which okay that seems way more complicated than the last time I did this didn't I just throw something on the ground in some acid and then I've got that changed uh, and I've got my light box here Having all that. Yeah, I want this. Um, I don't want the blueprint. Oh, well, apparently there was enough pressure to look at it for more than five seconds. I have to get some fuel up here for these guys. Um... Man, I don't remember what I did. I know it went in here. Oh, here's an unassembled one. There we go. Uh, oop, not what I wanted to look at. So I have an unassembled one. Unassembled. So I need three blue and three black transistors and I don't know why I closed that because I didn't look to see how to make those uh, so I need cyan compressed iron and redstone and black compressed iron and redstone and I've got gray I do have the compressed iron, I just don't have the other colors of plastic. But this guy has tons of plastic. Right? And then I need cyan. And black. Because I still have plastic left over from before. But I've got to get some fuel up here to even be able to run these machines. Uh, you know, my trees. My trees. Oh, are you still on? Oh, you need to be... Storm me up some fuel, man. I ain't got no fuel. Well, 
So that's my plans going forward, I guess. Um, I will attempt to get the engine put together. And uh, most of this I've got. Uh, this I just got to... Right, I've got to break down and get uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, ten, ten bronze ingots together for that, which it just made 64, so we don't have any problem there. Uh, I've got the circuits on me. I've got 23 of those, so that's not even a big deal. Um, and uh, and then uh, this isn't anything. This is just some iron steel and aluminum and I've got plenty of that so that's not anything that's aluminum that's easy this was the only tricky part I'm gonna have to look into how to make these things again because this is different than what it was before uh, yeah it used to be etching acid but I don't remember it being that complicated to make the yeah this is what I would do I'd take an empty PCB which I would get from Right, but how do I make the empty one? Because this has changed. This was not a step before that I remember. That's easy. This is the difficult part, is getting this. Because apparently... Apparently I've got to get... Uh, Epichlorohydrin... Naphtha and nitrogen dioxide all going to get the molten epoxid. Uh, carbon and chlorine and LPG. Oh, that's some of that fuel stuff that I don't do yet. Yeah, see? I... Wow. I might not be able to do Steve's cart. It depends. Let's see if we can find the... Uh, I don't want the blade arm. I want, um... No, not the torch placer. Side chest. Yeah, that looks normal. I don't... That's not gonna be... Anything too major, it doesn't look like. Uh, just some playing around with the assembler. Uh, where's the harvester head? Uh, it looks like a combine. Shooter, this right here, basic farming. Diamonds, steel plate, gold plate, simple PCBs. Yep, I can handle that. The PCBs used to be made with uh, the smaller PCBs. So, um, this using the the part from Pneumaticraft is new to me. <laughs> uh, and it looks like that's going to be kind of difficult to do. So, yeah. All right, with that, click like if you like, subscribe, share, and catch the next one, and I will talk to you later.